Today we'll be looking in about summarizations and doing graphs using Google Sheets. Uh, so this week's challenge is about uh, uh, seeing, viewing, and doing with uh, dealing with data. Right? Uh, we have given uh, a template data, and so um, so why would we do summarizations or like graphs from the data? We're going to see why we're going to why we we're in need of doing those. Uh, summarizations and the graphs and how maybe what are the important things to include in your graphs in your summarizations how can we summarize using google Sheets and things like that so you can understand from the actually the the concept so, uh, doing graphs or making summarizations from every actually not ten specifically on this case but in every case the main point of making summarization is to uh, provide some complex things in a in a better way or to to make it easy to drive an insight from that easily instead of going through all the data and going through all the files that we have before just by going through the um, summary or the summarization provided we we will be able to drive some insights and from based on depending on that insight it's easier to make decisions or to understand the current situation of uh, the, the situation of like if there is a company in this case it's a startup so the situation of the startup so if shell data summarization and visualizations aid in understanding complex data sets um so sheets containing aggregated data for quick analysis like there are many techniques to take those insights or analysis the first one is using function we can make a summary when we mean summarization in google sheet it's not the summary that we're used to okay writing a summary two line three lines of sentence and things like that it's not that summary it's um it's also indicated in numeric four if the data is numeric then this the summary part is going to be numeric two and but we're going to use some functions in order to average or summarize or take some like insight, you know, general insight from the specific data mentioned there. And utilizing people tables for dynamic summarization based on criteria. Uh, and maybe example total sales summary across multiple regions. Okay, um, so better than dealing with every so there is, for example, let's say we're doing some research on the sale of a specific product in different countries and so while doing the analysis or like while studying the the market, we might go in specific like in like house to house or person to person details. But while we take summary, we can say we can talk about uh, specifically. I mean, generally about that region. This uh, summary or this point is about, or this point indicates this numbers indicates the general situation of that market in that specific region. Also, graphical, um, we can use graphical representations in order to uh, summarize things. So here we, uh, we've used just techniques, uh, like maybe they might be tables or using those functions, we're going to analyze mm -hmm. the data that, we've, that, that, that we're given, but also we can use the graphical representation so we can uh, communicate the, data, the numbers or we can change the numbers to graphs, like the numbers which are there. Right, so first we're going to do this using the functions and we're going to summarize the numbers and then we can use the graphical representation too. It's also, this is also a common concept. I think we've uh, gone through graphs like charts and things on the sessions that on the previous session, week sessions. So like we can use bar charts, line charts and pie charts and different kind of charts that we feel comfortable in using. And uh, train lines, sparky lines for trained analysis and visual trains. For example, still we can, uh, for the example that we've mentioned earlier about total sales summary across multiple region, we can do a graph depending over time. Like, was it varying through time or uh, how fast or how low was the variation during those times? So, this is an easy concept. I, I can understand that it's an, an easy concept. and. So the main point is we need to adapt this concept or the summarization and the graphical representation concept to our project, right? So in our case, um, truly speaking, it's not that complicated data, right? We're, we're given with a simple data. The template data is 
for itself provided in a summary form but um so like for the digital for the for the for the situation that might deal with like expense uh like doing the uh cash flow or many like the financial situation of a startup company what should we consider we should consider things related with the income right the total income the total expense the profit loss and the profit margin so like you you can see that the total, the total income expense and the loss the profit i mean most the profit in the loss are expressed in the data also uh, for the summarization we might do we might make partitions like we can meet, we can do monthly or quarterly summarizations cumulative yearly comparative analysis for uh, we know that th th it's given to make the analysis yearly on the data on the pike uh, but like as a general knowledge we can make we can use different types of summarizations like you we, if it is if the data is given monthly then we can we can ca calculate the yearly uh, differentiation or analysis of the data okay <laughs> so let's try to take this knowledge to our data like for the for the example data here so here okay. this is just a trial this is a, a copy of the excel sheet so it's uh, fine to do some manipulations here but so this is the data we have uh, the expense the profit and the things every details uh based on months like like this is one 2025 2026 and 2027 so we're just going to see some sip what can we do what can we do to with this data or what can we uh work in order to summarize or in order to provide something as a summarization depending on this data so like let's say <coughs> the profits here are given uh okay maybe the income the income here is given per men's right so if we need to do some analysis on yearly so we might say that this is 2025 2026 and 2027 right the total income of 2025 is this much greater than or less than 2026 or just a comparison using the numbers or graphs we can present that also the total expense it tells something really important that like if it is a startup a startup company and as you see all the numbers are related with the uh, with bir, uh, with the dollar i mean i'm sorry so like we can make everything related with the money or with the dollar is can be it, it's going to be helpful for the uh for the company so it's going to be an important analyzation so we can use we can do the total income Per year, the total expense per year, the profit. So, uh, we, we we will be able to make some comparisons on yearly basis. So, here, this is the that's why I just mentioned that this data is going to be more simple than uh, other complex data since we have we just have the income data, the expense, the profit, or here right, the net gain or lose. We just have the we have the data here. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, let's say that we wanted to calculate the total income of the whole year. Okay, so we have we can just open another sheet here, and uh, I have just put it an income here. So like in income is four thousand six hundred. So um, we're going to use uh, as, as we mentioned in the PPT, we're going to use some formulas in order to calculate everything right. So this data is coming from twenty twenty five's uh, sheet, right? So we're going to use, is, the, is it visible? I hope that is visible. So we're going to use this uh, quotation mark in 2025. So this is the name of the data that we're going to, that we're about to import some data from. So in this case, we're going to refer to 2025's data. So 2025 is quoted and then it's sum from A4 to F7. So let's see what is in A4 and from A4 to F7. So here, A4 is the first or the plan one um, income, and up to F up to F3, I mean F6, F7 we got the plan one, plan two, and plan three together. So there is we can calculate the total income here. So we're just implying this, so, so that we can know that we can do this calculator we've done here, uh, simply in another sheet. So the result is for uh, four thousand six hundred. So, uh, yeah, 
here is the result I mean but uh, this is just as I told you this is something to know that we can do the calculation uh, or that we can use the, a number from another sheet to make to make the analysis in another one we can just import you can say that uh, it's as an import so but like we have just said we might need the total income right so how are we going to calculate the total income it's not that different again we're going to refer to 2025 and from if 9 q9 so let's see where why what is like this exclamation mark is indicating that from the 2025 sheet in this data okay so let's see what is in f9 and q9 in 2025 uh, data okay if nine is four thousand six hundred dollar and q9 is the five thousand right the q9 so this indicates the whole uh, income from january to december so that calculating the sum of those numbers we can get the total income of that 2025 year okay so calculating the whole income it's 64803 okay so the same way by the way maybe on this on this formula we can use instead of q9 so we we we're, we're looking for the same row right for the like from f9 for the ninth row, right? So let's see if we can use instead of Q9, just nine. Yeah, same output, right? Uh, this means from F9, in F9, starting from the column and F, column F9, you can use all the row or the ninth row, which is starting from here. You can use all the numbers in the ninth row. So that's the calculation are going to be the same. So we can calculate the total income like this, which means we can also calculate the expense, like we have just calculated the income here. We can put the expense and also the total expense. We can calculate the profit, okay? Also, we have the profit uh, in a form of here. It's in a form of monthly profits, right? January's, uh, February's, and like every month's profit. So we can make, we can just make the profit for, uh, we can calculate the profit for, the yearly profit and then we're going to able to calculate the 2025 versus 2026 and 27 profits okay so after doing those calculations actually if you need if you feel like there are another parameters that are supposed to be used as a reference or as a comparison then you can so those are going to be the, the major ones <laughs> wow. in this case but okay we're going to see that later uh and maybe so let's see let's say that we need to pivot the graph of those numbers so we can just make the calc a, gra a graph based on this calculation or you can put uh, here i just calculated the total profit if you click this for example in 87 it's just a random number that i have put it here so there is no formula over here but in this one i have just calculated this number the total profit uh, so i just mentioned earlier like it, it's easier like it's easy 2025 quoting 2025 from f24 to q24 means in the same row from the column f24 to q24 which is going to indicate a one year range so uh we just calculated the total profit here so like just to do the graphs we can do um so let's delete this and yeah let's say those are uh those are like a full um, data let's assume that this is a fulfilled data we're going to select it and from insert chart so here is the chart okay so we can change the form of the chart flow from column chart to this from to there are different type of charts okay we can change the uh, but there are so you need to use specific uh, types of charts in order to see your the reflection of your data clearly okay so there are also pie charts here. So pro most probably we're going to use the pie or charts or the uh, bar charts, right? In order to see uh, the, the data, in order to interpret the data clearly. So let's see, just use this data. Okay, so uh, here is the minus 4,000 4, data, which is the total profit. And the profit of uh, 500 and things, they are lying over here. We might. Uh, we can change by clicking on this chart it's customizable and we, we can change the colors back to customize okay. 
by clicking or by double clicking on this specific chart we can maybe um, in men's one okay men's one is indicated by blue men's two by red and men's three by yellow this is this came by default but we might we can change the colors okay the color of one's man men's one is see for depending on my our table uh, men's one is the only men's that have all the three parameters the profit the total profit the expense and things like that so it have three bars and men's two which is indicated by red color it have uh, only it have just indication of the profit so here it's just indicated on the profit table and on top there's no total profit and men's three is indicated by its profit which are which are the same thing it's just you know to show you how to do or how to work the graph and maybe we can also change by double clicking here we can change the title of the graph um summarization we can see so uh, by doing this we can manipulate or change our graphs okay so in probably we're going to do so just to try and put um putting myself in your position and uh in the analyze yeah just seeing depending on the task or the challenge mm, we might do those analysis or those charts uh, graph charts in a uh, year basis or men monthly basis and yeah so here they will be the, the total income the total expense and the total profit and here they will come 2024 20, 2026 20, and 2027 20, and then we can see the difference in different type of chart another thing that you shouldn't forget is in working with them seriously we're going to do um some uh, you, you need to do some customization okay maybe you can make this um uh, in different color and the title you need to put the titles and uh, some brific verifications or explanation you can do those things so yeah so doing this we can make all the analysis for 2025 2026 and 2027 and then we will do the comparison between them okay i think yeah this is uh this is it this those are the main points so based on this and based on this analyzation analyzation you're going to do the detailed an anal 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 analysis of uh, all the data depending on your basis okay so do you have any comment or suggestion or another knowledge or something to add on in this analysis since it's going to use for it's going to be useful for your uh, peers anything so do you get the idea do you get the idea of uh, what we're doing here and how we're going to summarize and what things are we going to present in graphical form okay thank you so they maybe okay so yeah if that is the case if there's any question you can indicate it in slack you can ask the question there i'm going to upload the uh the sites yeah, yeah okay thank you and good luck everyone it's here okay i think it's here you just raised your hand you can go yeah hello hello get here yeah i would also kindly request that uh, maybe you also uh, upload the video immediately on youtube uh, to facilitate uh, revision eh? okay i will okay. yeah uh, i will contact with the team okay i will try to upload it oh. as fast as possible okay okay thank you thank you Peter. another suggestion or question okay thank you everyone okay <laughs> so still I was asking if if can the summary so sheet have am I audible? You are you are audible now. In the you can go <laughs> when when creating the summary sheet, mm -hmm. is it possible is it possible to, to have the values of all all, all all the three years in one column the say for example the profit 
Okay, the profit of what? Why do you of, need? Okay. Of, of all the three years in one column. Oh, all the three years in one column? Yeah, of course. It, in one column. I think you what you're trying to say is not in one column, but in one sheet, right? Yeah, Since we have tried, sheet. yeah, yeah, it is, it is, of course. Since uh, or on this example, I've just used 2024 data, but changing the formula or indicating that you are importing from 2025, I think 2023, okay. another year, you can do the same thing with another year in the same sheet. So, still do you? Yes, I, uh, I just said, yes, you can you can use. I think what you're trying to say is not in one column, but in one sheet. But yeah, the answer is yes, we can do the same, that type of analysis for two and from two and three different sheets, which is in this challenge. From 2024, from 2023, you can do all the analysis in one new, new one sheet. sheet. That is possible. Yeah, exactly. Just, yeah, you need to know, you need to... For example, now we have just imported the data from 2024 so that we, we have used uh, the, the number 2024 in the formula, right? Yeah. But in another case, we need to change that. We, we need to make it from 2025. And that's going to be the only difference. But the so that I'm alone in that sheet where I have all the data for the three years, I can only have three columns with all the summations of the say for example the profit i want it to have all the values of the profit say for january from 2025 to 2027 mm -hmm. i don't think that i have i've got your question right sostan sorry can you repeat it maybe we can we can do a, a slack discussion with you then you can help me yeah yeah we can do that but like let's try to uh, do it here in order for others also to learn something from this let's just try and of course we can do it on slack i was i am i am i'm making this summer sheet for 2025 to 2027 okay I, and i have imported all the data and i'm making I'm using three columns of month, profit, and net cash. In the in in the profit column, I want a single cell to have the values of all the three years. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, on the same column, but in different rows. Okay, three different rows maybe. Right? Yeah. Okay. You've tried that. So did you face any problem? Sorry. Have you faced uh, any problem while trying to do that? So, if you're trying to do the profit of the three different years in different row and in same column, you, you probably uh, made you probably have written three different types of uh, formula for for all the three rows. So, if you've tried that, did you face any problem? Have you faced any problem doing that? Let me let me share my screen. Sure. Abdulaziz, uh, <clears throat> I will make sure to, uh, we will try to upload this as fast as we can, but yeah, maybe after three hours and like, just like that, but I will upload the PPT, actually more than the slide, maybe the video will help, but we will apply, we will upload the slide now and after yeah. three hours we will upload the data, I mean the video, okay. Is, is it possible? Okay, <clears throat> so I don't see why you're like, why are you trying to do all the January, the February, the March, every detail. So this is not going to be a summary, okay? If you're dealing with every year, if you're it's just importing every, every huh? I mean, I mean every month. I should just do for yearly. Probably, if it is a summary, you need to do, you need to take some part of maybe like if it is less than a year, quarterly, dividing them into uh, three, three months or things like that, okay? We need, we, we don't have to put every month's uh, value here. 
since we're talking about summaries, it's not going to summarize uh, the details. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, guys, for attending. I will uh, stop the recording. Okay. Bye.